Today, I'm going to show you a free way to optimize your website so that number one, it ranks better. Number two, it's easier for Google to call it. Number three, it saves you a bunch of time because I've got this easy step-by-step -step checklist. And number four, it means that instead of getting denied for ads networks like I did, you get approved within 24 hours, which is what I did after I learned about this process. So make sure you keep watching because if you want to get approved for ads, if you want to rank faster, if you want to get more leads, traffic, sales from SEO, then this is the best way to do it. I've been testing this for years. This process couldn't be easier and smoother and it's completely free. So make sure you keep watching. Let's go. All right. So I think it's fair to say that this website right here looks like absolute trash. All right. I could say another word, but I'm probably not allowed to say it on YouTube. So what we're going to do today is just set this up, spruce it up, sprinkle a little bit of goldie magic on there so that it's a lot more interesting than it currently is. How are we going to do that? Well, I'm basically going to give you a checklist that looks like this and I'll run you through it step by step. And this is basically exactly how you can optimize your website quickly so that it not only looks better, not only gets better on page metrics, it's not only fast, but also we can get it approved for ads. Right. And then we can monetize our site. And also I'm not embarrassed to show it on YouTube anymore. So how are we going to do this? First thing we can do, if we go into our dashboard like so, and by the way, this is a proven process. It's based on what's already got my websites approved for ads multiple times. Even if you're using AI content, this process works. This is monetized with Zoic. It's been approved by AdSense, etc. So first thing that we're going to do is start running through the design checklist. So I'm going to go to appearance and then themes. And it's currently set on 2013, which is a free theme. And I'm going to change that to Neve. So we're going to go to add new, search for Neve. Never lets you down, Neve. That's why it's called Neve. And there we go. Neve never lets you down. Bit of a tongue twister there. Got it installed. We'll activate it. And we're already 99% of the way there. And this is a free theme that I've used to get multiple websites approved by ads, even when we're using AI to get them monetized. One of the other problems here is that it's not secure, right? So what I can easily do is if I log into my hosting platform, which is Easy Blog Networks, go log in over here. If I click on the website that I want to enable for HTTPS, I can click enable HTTPS like this. Most websites are the same, then we'll enable it like so. One thing I'm going to come on to as well today is indexing. I'm going to show you an interesting way to do indexing that I've never really talked about before. And it's something that I just discovered this week that looks really interesting to play with. So I'm going to monitor and test the results on that too, because the faster we can get this content indexed, the better. All right. And now we have HTTPS enabled. Happy days. Another thing you want to do is typically with WordPress, you'll get a couple of sample pages on the website. So for example, this come in soon page right here. We're just going to trash that because it's a total waste of time. That does not help anyone. And I'm just going to tick these off the list to show you how you can actually use this as a checklist as you go through. Next up, it's time to actually set up the contact and about us and the privacy pages for this website. How are we going to do that? So I've got this chat GPT prompt right here. I'm going to link to it in my free course so you can get access. And what I can do is just go into chat GPT like so, pop in the website URL like this. And this is really easy just for blasting out contact pages, about me pages, etc. Because you can see it's got the website, then what the website is about. Then it's got the English. Then you can change the language as well. You can plug in the details about your author. I'm just going to use me for now because that's better than a fake person. And it's got links to my social media profiles as well. Then the prompt says right in the language above. And we're going to have an about me page, a privacy policy and a contact page. And now we're good to go. So we'll plug that into chat GPT like so. And in the pages section, we can just add one, two, three pages right there. And then you can see that it's created the privacy policy, the about me page, etc. cetera. Uh, we can just quickly paste those into our website. And finally, we've got the contact us. I just want to quickly explain what we're doing in the contact form, right? So you want to make it as easy as possible for people to contact you, not just so that people can actually contact you, which of course is a goal, but at the same time, you want Google to crawl your website and see, oh, there's an email address, there's social media profiles. Even if they're not 100% relevant, I still think that's better than having no profiles at all. And then, oh, that's a real person with real social media and an actual company and a company address, etc. I think that does make a difference. Probably like a 0.5% tweak. It's not going to be as important for EEAT as, say, backlinks, but it can help. And every little counts. So we've published the About Me page. 
we've published the privacy policy, we've published the contact us, nice and easy. And you might have noticed I've got the camera on today, that's simply because I am back from Phuket and I'm back to Bangkok, I'm speaking at DCBK okay, this weekend, living the dream. So now we're going to go to plugins and you can see on the website, that there's no thumbnails for this content, right? So how are we going to fix that? Well, what you can actually do is if you go down to tools, regenerate thumbnails, this is a free plugin. If you don't have it, you can install it. But basically when you're using tools like Autoblogging AI and you're publishing directly from there to your website, then you have to regenerate the thumbnails. So we can just leave that open in the background and we're making good progress. In just a couple of minutes, we've switched the theme, got the HTTPS working, trashed any sample pages, set up the contact privacy and about page, regenerate the thumbnails for the website. What else? So the other thing that I need to do is if you look at the posts, you can see that it's all being created by a lady called Crystal Richardson. Only problem is Crystal doesn't actually exist. And if you want your website to look real, then there's no point in having fake personas on there. I mean, don't get me wrong. Plenty of websites still rank with a fake persona or no persona. It's just, if you want to stack the odds in your favor, then you're going to do everything you can, right? And that's what we're doing in this setup so that we have the best possible chance of ranking. So I will type in my details on the website. Then we're going to change that to Julian Goldie over here. We'll hit update profile like so. And then if we refresh the page and let's say we navigate to the last few, you will see first of all the thumbnails showing up, but also my name. And by the way, how good do these images look? If you compare AI generated images versus Unsplash now, it's crazy how good AI images actually are looking beautiful, even though I do say so myself, to myself. Next up, what we want to have is we want to make sure that we've got all for bio set up for the website, right? So for example, if we check my website, let's take a look at this one and we scroll down, you'll find this all for bio about me that has my name, has a link to the about page. It talks about who I am and why I'm an expert. And then it's got links to my social media profiles. So I want to get the same thing set up on this website too. How am I going to do that? So all we need is a simple author box, right? So what we're going to do is search for simple author box. That would make sense. And then we'll install this over here, activate it like so, and we'll start setting that up. And all this stuff, right? You don't want to spend too long on it. If you're doing this for your own website, personally, I think you should smash it out as soon as you possibly can. You might say, why? Well, these are the little details and you're just going to set them up, set it and forget it. You know, it's the same, like if I'm going to the gym, I don't really care about meal timing or macros or what sort of diet I'm on or that sort of thing, all those little details. For me, it's just like, right, sleep eight hours, get the fundamentals down, get it down quickly, right? I'm going to work out five days a week. I'm going to beat the weights from the week before. And I'm going to make sure I get 110 grams of protein a day. And I want to spend as little energy on all the other BS as much as possible because otherwise it's going to slow me down. It's going to drive me crazy. It's going to take away all my mental energy. And it will take away my energy from the things that actually make me money. And that's the philosophy that I have for pretty much everything. It's like, okay, let's focus on the most important stuff. Let's make sure we don't waste all our time on the low leverage stuff. And let's make sure we focus on actually making things happen. So we've got the author bio right here, but you can see it's got no information about me. So it's got no social links. It's got no biographical info. It's got no image about me, etc. So we're going to start filling that in now. There we go. Look at that handsome chap. Now we'll start putting in the social media links. Now I'm actually testing this to add more e signals around me on each website, right? So we've got a hundred websites for now. I'm actually going to use myself on each website. That is absolutely not ideal, but I've not found a more scalable solution right now. It's something I will keep researching to find better solutions to this. But for now, I'm going to have me on their view website with my social media links, even if it's not relevant to the topic. I think that's not as efficient as it possibly can. But at the same time, it's better than having either no one or a fake persona. And that's why I'm doing it this way. You can do it whatever way you want. So we'll add the YouTube in there. We'll add the Instagram. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Jules underscore Goldie there. The man, the myth, the legend. And finally, we'll add Twitter. There we go. Update the profile. Paste it in like so. Hit update profile. Happy days. If we refresh the page, you can see... Now we've got an author bio on each page, the information about me and all my social media links. And you can also see that we've added the about me section to the navigation bar 
of the website along with the contact us and the privacy policy. So it's super easy to figure out, okay, who owns the website and also how do you contact the owner of the website? And we're breezing through it now. Now, one thing that's missing on the website right now is there are no categories on the navigation bar. And I would highly recommend that you do have them. If you look at this website, for example, you can see that it's got categories in the navigation menu. And there's not just like a few posts in each category. It's actually a decent amount. There might be like five or 10, et cetera, in each category that would publish content around. And that's quite important for ads approval. I'll link to Ezoic's ads Google checklist inside this SOP. But essentially they recommend that the menu should have more sections than just home about us and contact. And also you should finalize the categories. So categories with two or three articles will be deemed thin and therefore you shouldn't have that. But you should have categories with at least five articles in each category. So that's why we're going to add this to our navigation bar on pausepitballs.com. How are we going to do that? You just go to appearance, menus, and then you add in all the relevant bits that you want to add, right? So we'll add in some categories like so, add in the pages. Typically, I'm going to have privacy policy last, contact us, and the about like that, right? Hit save menu. And if we refresh a page like so, it's beginning to look like a real website. It's definitely not perfect, but we're getting there. Now, another little plugin that you can install to improve the crawlability of your website and basically make everything link better together. Plus, this helps you add a bunch of related articles to each other is you can use a plugin like related posts, thumbnails for WordPress. Install that, hit activate, and if we refresh a page, you'll see a bunch of related posts with the thumbnails for each article, which is great because then it's easier for Google to crawl all our content. Everything flows together better and it all sort of links together better too. Now, if you go to customize on your website, on Neve, you would just click customize like so right here. And then from customize, what you can actually do is go to widgets and we can optimize our sidebar so that it's more crawlable as well. So for example, we can add a widget that says categories. And now that will generate all the categories for our website, like you can see right here. So that it's easy for Google to crawl the website and also it's better usability, right? So if someone's reading the website and they're like, right, I want to read more about this subject or that subject, et cetera, they can see it. Top of that, we've got the publish date on the website. I think that does help a little bit. We could also edit the footer as well, just to make it easier to crawl all the most important links. So for example, if you go to juliangoldie.com, you can see a bunch of links right here and it has an about section has a contact section, has links to our main pages. And the reason I like to use Julian Goldie as an example is simply because since all the updates, it's actually done pretty well. Like for example, you know, back end of July, it was getting around 98 clicks a day. Now, even on a bad day, it's getting 300 clicks a day. So it's a good indicator of what to do. It's not like everything we do on this website is perfect, but like I say, it's all about adding up the 1% here. So we can add some footer menus like so. Also, as you'll see from this setup, it's all completely free to do. So you don't have to pay for any fancy plugins or any fancy tools, etc. Everything that we're doing today is completely free and you just follow the checklist. So that keeps your costs down as well. So I'm just going to add a footer menu with the about me, etc. here. Then I'm just going to add some social media links into the footer. And to do that, all you would do is add a new footer, hit settings, click add widget, and then you can add like, for example, social links like that. Very basic, but it does the job. Then you just add your tag inside like this, pop in the Instagram, pop in the YouTube, refresh the page, and it's coming along. We're gradually getting there. And then I'm just gonna add like some contact us information in the bottom there. Honestly, I don't know how big a part these play, but I'm just gonna base this on what's working for us on other websites already. This also helps for link building as well, because when you're reaching out to other websites, and there's actually some information about you and who you are, etc. then that makes it easier to attract backlinks to your website. What we can also do is if we go to customize and then header and change logo, we can add a logo onto the website like so. But where do you generate the image? So for the logo, I used to use Canva, but honestly, I'm going to try something new, which is actually creating a logo with Dali3 on ChatGPT. Now, if you don't have access to this, no problem, because you can actually go onto bing.com forward slash create, and then Microsoft Bing's image creator is actually powered by Dali3 right there. And you can do the same thing. 
But I'm going to use ChatGPT DALI 3 because I already have the feature built in. It's not available for everyone, but like I say, you can get it for free at bing.com forward slash create. So to generate this on ChatGPT, all you need to do is say, create some fun, clever favicons for my website about whatever niche you're in. And just mention the dimensions so is 512 by 512 pixels. Then ChatGPT is going to generate a favicon like this. As you can see, square image. From here, if you scroll down to select site icon, we'll select this icon right here. It's good to go. And that will change the image like so. And now you can see it popping up right there. You can also add a logo if you want in the top left. To do that, you just upload it right here. And by this point, all the thumbnails have been regenerated, as you can see right here. So we've generated a thousand thumbnails for the website. And you can see all the images are coming through nicely. You can see we've got the favicon there. We've got an about me, the categories, contact us, footer with all the details about the website. It's not perfect, but it will do for now. And then we can always make it better later. But that's basically it. That's how you do it. And I've detailed it step by step. In this tutorial, I'll also add the video link from this video today so that, you know, if you're giving it to a team or you're following it yourself, you can always come back to it and follow it step by step. And it's good to go there. Basically, you're the whole process. You might have some issues as well with the content and the sidebar. If you want to edit that, you just go to customizing, layout, then content, the sidebar. You can change the layout. So I'm going to have the sidebar on the right and then the content here. So I can actually run some ads in the sidebar too. And then for single posts, I've got the content width at about 60% so that the text is not too crammed on the sidebar and we're good to go on that. So we'll hit publish. Another little widget that you might want to add is the table of contents to your sidebar. And then you can drag that to the top over here, hit publish. All right, all right, all right. So that's basically done now. It's all set up. We've got the about me. We've got the categories. We've got the contact form. We've got a little favicon. Thank you, Dali3. We have the table of contents on the website, recent posts, everything set up there, ready to go. In the bottom of the footer, we've got the about social media links, contact section, about me and the key pages there. And on top of that, we've got the about me profile page here. And we have this Julian Goldie lad, the guy behind the keyboard and the leash at pausepitballs.com. So next up, I want to try indexing this website because we've created this site. You've seen it's got about a thousand posts but basically nothing is indexed right now. So how am I going to fix this? Well, I'm going to try a new service that I've never shown before and we'll just test it together. I'll test it so that you don't have to pay for it. It's pretty cheap. I think it was about $10 for 10,000 uh, links right here. Let's test it out and see how it goes. So what 10,000 is about $10, pretty cheap versus other tools that I've used. And we're going to go to my sitemap right here. I'm going to use link grabber, grab all the posts from my sitemap, which you can see here. Then we're going to go into paste links here on pausepitballs.com and hit start upload like so. And what I'll do is I'll come back in a future video to see and test whether that actually ranks well, whether it gets indexed faster, etc. Because this website has been live and it's been on Google Search Console for a couple of days. So let's see how long it takes to get that content indexed and actually ranking. And for a thousand pages, it costs $1 to get them all indexed, which is super cheap, right? So let's give it a whirl and see what happens. And that's basically it. Now, if you want access to the site setup checklist and everything down here, you know, whether you want it, whether your team want it, etc., then I'm going to leave a link inside my free chat GPT course. Links in the comments. If you want to check that out, you can get instant access. If you want to book in a free call about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales to your website and get a free domination plan, plus we'll answer any SEO questions you have, and you'll discover the best link building strategy for your website, then feel free to book that in. Link is in the comments as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.